Hey everybody, I'm getting set up right now. Um, we're just waiting because I'm using Discord to get Egan on the line to play the other characters, so should be just a minute. Minor tef technical difficulties, but yeah, whatever. That's streaming. So stay tuned. Should shouldn't take too long. Um, all right, and we are live. I think we're live. Yes. Okay, there's just a bit of a delay with the camera. Okay, hopefully I set everything up correctly. Uh, my mic levels are going. It does seem to see what I'm moving, so a little bit, a little bit leggy, but that's fine. All right. I'm excited. I haven't had a chance to play this game yet, but it's it's kind of a combination of D&D &D and a card game, and it's sort of, like, legally distinct from D&D &D to be, you know, able to put out a board game based on a podcast where they play D&D. &D. Right. All right. I'm here with Egan. Say hello. Hello. Wait, am I on stream? Okay. <laughs> yeah. J yeah, they can hear you. Um, yeah, we'll be, we'll be going through this. So, the first step to setting up for this particular game is we create characters. So, we have three options in a two-player game. You can be the wizard, the warrior, or the rogue. Um, I want to be the rogue. Rogue, okay. So, I'll put these aside for a moment. So, to create your character, it's a lot faster than in D&D, &D, but first, uh, we decide you're a rogue and a what? Like, what do you do when you're not roguing? Um, I am, <laughs> um, let's see, I guess I hadn't really thought about it. I uh like travel and um clean up after like a random or I like find like uh messes and clean them up. Okay. Oh you're Especially a like and and a busybody. Yeah. We'll say. All right. Then you're stronger against traps as a rogue, mostly because of your... What makes you especially good at dodging traps as a rogue? Um, 
background in aerial gymnastics. Mm, okay. Part of the circus. Background in aerial gymnastics. And you generally assist your teammates using your... Um... Anything? Hmm? Anything? Anything. Uh, okay. I... Uh... Poison dart gun. Dart gun? Poison dart gun? Yeah. All right. Poison. Dart. Gun. All right. Let's see. And you, as a treasure hunter, you get to uh, draw two loot and pick one to keep. Uh, you get two strength against challenges, four strength against trap challenges, which have the spider web, plus three when you assist before a die roll, and plus one when you assist after the die roll. So I'll explain what those mean when they come up. Uh, what do you want to name your rogue? Um, Bethany. Bethany. Okay. Any special notes? Uh, oh, I don't think so. Okay. And then, uh, describe Bethany. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw them. Um, Bethany is five foot eleven. Okay. Uh, tall. Dark blonde, like chin length, straight hair. Okay. Um, like, uh, on like the stockier side, like, like, well, I guess, uh, oh, actually, if they were a aerial gymnast, they're probably like thinner. Yeah, they're pretty light, I would say, actually. Okay. Um, like strong, yeah, lean. Um, <laughs> I think that's gymnasts. Much the defining characteristics. Gymnasts wear leotards. Very true. They just hang out. They only exclusively wear leotards. <laughs> okay. And a cape. Leotard. And then we'll just five foot eleven inches. All right, and that will be Bethany. So I will tear that off, and we'll put that to the side for now. And then we will do my character. I will be. Let's see. I will be the wizard. And I'm gonna go, let's see, you're a wizard and a, uh, hmm, hoarder. Ah. Uh. I can't, I cannot throw anything away. I was cursed, cursed to never throw anything away. Um. Oh, stronger... that's good, like, I'm cursed to be a hoarder. Yeah, you're stronger against magical challenges, mostly because of your, um... Hmm. Secret. Superfluous. Uh. Ambrosia. Organ. So I have an organ that, uh, that will spontaneously give me the food of the gods, Ambrosia, directly into my system. Damn, that's a uh, slick move there. I think they'll be pretty useful. And then you generally assist your teammates using your... Um, hmm. My brain immediately went umbrella, but that's a little too close to taco. Let's, let's try and be a little original here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I just did the first thing that my brain went to. Uh, snappy... Or banana. Fashion. Sense. 
I, I dress so well it distracts it distracts every enemy. Oh, that's good. That's good. I we need will that. Need the wizard. Branticular. The uh green. Yeah. Sure. Just get a get a drawing of that. Just needs a little star, crescent moon. He's got a beard. And uh just kinda one of those long robes. Like in Fantasia. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, but that was that I was looking for. Wand. And, uh... Cheese wheels. He is a cheese wizard. Do not... Do not doubt the powers of the cheese robe that was gifted to him by... Uh... Uh, the... O Odin. I don't know. Odin, A. Yeah, well, Odin, B. Odin, A was too busy. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, okay. I see what you did there. All right, there we go. Branticular, the green. And Bethany, the rogue. All set to go out on an adventure. So, next, now that we have our characters. Let me make sure to have space for them. There we go. Wait, what is your uh, wizard's name? Branticular the Green. Ah, Branticular. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. And let's get this out of the way. All right, now we get to decide what our adventure is going to be. We get to pick a villain, a relic, and a location. So our villains are the cult, the dragon, the lich, or the dark lord. Mm. Like the dragon. All right, let's go, dragon. All right, the dragon is ancient and powerful, and it is determined to destroy you. You must survive its attacks and press forward until you have an opportunity to defeat it once and for all. What is the dragon's name? What do we want the dragon's name to be? <laughs> What was that? Bruce. How do you spell that? B R U C E. Bruce. Bruce. Okay, it was cutting off the B, so it just sounded like oos. <laughs> I mean, oos is fine too. I would probably spell that O O S. Ah, okay. And then what does it look like? It's it's big, large, um, very large, I would say, and it I feel like it doesn't have like a super defined shape. Not that it looks like it's rotting, but just like um. I don't know how to describe what I'm trying to say. Okay. It's made so of like, goo, almost. A gooey, a large gooey dragon. Yeah. Okay. I can, I can abide by that. All right. And then we have a relic. The idol, the staff, the ring, or the horde? Um... The uh, idol. The idol. Right. The idol can alter reality and twist time and space. It does not belong in this world. Do you know its name? The... I don't know. What do you think? The... 
I say we don't know its name. It's that it's that powerful that it's been shrouded in mystery. I think that's a great idea. All right, let me make sure to get that deck out. The idle deck. And where did it come from? Um future the future okay an idol of unknown location origin from the future and then we have for location the tomb the temple the train or the cave the train of course the train it's so <laughs> tempting why wouldn't you it all right the villain has stolen the relic, and you have to catch them before the train reaches the end of the line. What is the name of this fantasy train? Uh, the... Uh, AliExpress. The AliExpress. All right. And where is it Ollie, going? The... Um... Edgecliff, uh, Edgecliff. Edgecliff, okay. So we have the large gooey dragon who is hoarding the hi the idol of unknown origin from the future riding on the the AliExpress going to Edgecliff All right and now we get to pick one of these surprise cards we'll be able to use all of them but only one at a time so we have Loops Lessons Killing It with Killian Director's Guidance and Merle's Blessing Get to pick one of those? Yeah, one to start with. Loops lessons. Loops lessons. All right, and I'll tuck the rest of these underneath that. All right, so at any point, we can discard that to describe Loops' advice to add plus two strength against any potion challenge. Okay. Potion, right? Well, magic specifically. We also, because we're playing a two-player game, have the priest assist. So you, at one point during the game, can get a plus two to any roll. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So now I get to go first as the team leader. Oh, and I forgot. We also get assist coins of our own. So let's see. You have this crossbow one which gets you plus three and you can use that you'd give it to me basically to assist in one of my rolls and i have a plus one that i can give to you all right ah so how this works is you pick one of the three challenges laid out before you and you have to try and roll over that so it's a combination of your strength, which is on your character sheet, plus, um, plus any assists, and if you have any loot, you can use that as well. Um, you're trying to roll at least what is on the challenge or more, and if it has the plus one, that's saying that the one next to it. So this right now is a nine, and both of these are one more, so that's an eight and a six. I'm going to go after platform six. Uh... So let's see, right now we must take cover while investigating a horrifying discovery while waiting on platform six. So I'm going to uh, attempt to deal with being on platform six. So I'm going to roll this huge <laughs> d20. That's massive. I know. I, it comes with five of them, the uh, limited edition that I got at least in various colors. I just, I went with this one because, um, oh wait, you can't see the box. Hold on. Let me show you real quick. The box. I want to see the box. 
is Ooh. the limited edition is this gorgeous void fish artwork that's like got that's like beautiful. shiny foil in it. It's so nice. So yeah, I went to match with the void fish with the purple one. So I'm going to I'm going to roll for let me double check. I've I've read through the rules a few times, but until you actually play a game, you know, it doesn't always stick. Uh, let me grab the rules here and double check I'm doing this correct. Let's see. Determine strength, tell your story, ask for assistance, roll the die. Um, let's see. I have... This isn't a magic challenge. Strength against challenges. So I have a one, and I need to roll at least a four. So, all right. Uh, while I'm waiting on platform six, I... Or finally discover that the train is not going to stop because it has a giant dragon on it. And it's just going to try and swipe at the platform itself, so I got to take cover. So, uh, I'm going to ask... Uh, well, maybe I should roll first. Hmm. Because it's pretty early to ask for assistance. Uh, I... I'm going to, I think, go for it. This might not go great for me. Um... But we only take one damage if I mess it up. So I'm going to roll for it. Five. Perfect. So that is my one strength plus the five I just rolled. Six, which hits that six card. So perfect. I was able to take cover just in time. And then I believe... Yes, I hang on to the card because it can be good for loot later. That's one loot point. And that goes nice. to the side. Now it is your turn. You may pick one of the challenges. So your strength is two plus whatever you roll. Okay. What is What are the challenges? I can't uh, read them very well. Right. Um... Let's see, uh, you must take cover while investigating a horrifying discovery while talking to the conductor. So, basically, just kind of work out a story with that and then pick one of these particular things to tackle. So, you could take cover, which would, you need to roll at least an eight. Um, horrifying discovery, you know, what shocking surprise do you stumble upon? Or talk to the conductor. What are what's the conductor like? I want to talk. Yeah, I want to talk to the conductor. All right, what's the conductor like? Um, he's pretty stressed out. To be honest, there's a dragon hanging out on this train, uh, oh, and doesn't really seem to want to talk to me. Um, but I and I'm trying to express that I want to help, um, but he is just not paying any attention. He's just way too stressed. He's not very good at his job, to be honest. Like, he's not good at staying calm in stressful situations. Um, so I mean, he's doing a lot is, of hyperventilation. I can't really get. This is a very stressful situation, although I guess in <laughs> fantasy land, this is pretty par for the course. Yeah. All right. So oh, I can't get much out of him, but... All right, your strength is two, um, and so you need to roll at least a, a five, uh, which, to be clear, this die is basically 3d6, so it's one through six. There's the Bureau of Balance logo, which is a guaranteed success, or the Epic Fail, which is a guaranteed failure. So, uh, do you want any assistance with that? Or do you think you can roll a five? Um, I think I could roll a five. All right. Let's roll it. Guaranteed success. Nailed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. That gives you two loot points. So we'll put that to the side for now. Uh, all right. I feel like we should deal. we should deal with this dragon situation. So, all right. I'm going to take cover and i'm i'm going to hide behind the newspaper kiosk 
it seems, you know, newspapers are pretty flammable, but the kiosk itself is metal, so I think that'll be fairly, fairly, uh, safe. So I get one strength, uh, plus another one because I described the story, which I w should have added to yours, but because you rolled Bureau of Balance, it wouldn't have mattered. You won it regardless. Hmm. Okay. So I need to roll a perfect six. Would you be willing to assist me with that? I got, I'm, I'm tripping all over my cheese robes. Yes. All right. I'll, I'll assist. You assist me with the plus three, uh, which goes to the side for now. Let me double check if you get to use that again. Assisting, assisting. It's like a chapter. Hmm. Two players. The war. Da, da, da. Okay, it's just for the round, so yeah, my next turn, you can do it again. Okay, so that gives me plus three, five, so I only need to roll, uh, I think these double up, so actually that's ten, so I still need to roll a five, which is rough, but no, wait, I'm going after that one, so yeah, that's eight, so I only need to roll three or more, I think I can do that. Let's go for it. Four, perfect. All right. So that gives me another loot. And now we have, can you avoid the dragon's tail whip? So it's your turn now. And you can avoid the dragon's tail whip, investigate a horrifying discovery, or be trapped in the tiny lavatory, which is a trap challenge, and you do have uh, twice as much strength against traps. Oh, all right, I'll I'll be trapped. That's fine. All right. So, uh, how do you end up trapped in the lavatory? Um, I come back from talking to the conductor. That doesn't go very well, and I am uh, I don't realize how close I am, or like the dragon has moved in between me where I'm headed, and so I don't realize how close I, I am until it's a little too late, so I see the door of the laboratory is open, and I jump in. Okay. And then and the, the dragon's the tail, like, And you get four. So all you need to roll is a three. Do you want any assistance? No, I, I think I can roll a three. All right. Let's go for it. Five. That's a win. Uh oh all right, and now you have three loot points, so you know what that means. It's time to go to the fantasy Costco where all your dreams come true. Got a deal for you. Yes! It's another. My little, God, I love it. It's another little thing from the uh, limited edition specifically, so you get a fantasy Costco loot. All right, and you can see if you look really close, floating above. Garfield's the deals warlocks. Hold on. If I tilt it that way, yeah. All right, and you get the pocket guide to adventuring, which gives you a plus one to uh versus traps or monsters. So now you have a five against traps. Nice. And then these get uh, I believe discarded. Let me double check. We're turning them in. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Discarded, yes. So those will go out of there. And you get the pocket guide to adventuring. Um, And at any point, you can discard it to describe the useful vice you found in the book and add a plus one to anyone's die roll. All right. So that's some loot. Get the fancy Costco out of here for right now. You get your assist token back. Now it's my turn. Oh boy. What do I want to do here? Um, 
I could deal with magic, but there's not really much magic. We should, I feel like we should deal with this idol because it's making both of these a lot harder. So, all right, I'm going to investigate a horrifying discovery. And yeah, the shocking surprise that I stumble upon as I am hiding behind the newspaper stand is the prices. Can you believe they're charging $20 for a magazine? What? $20. How much the magazines are running these days. Granted, it's a it's a thick magazine, you know, but it's twenty dollars, too much. So that gives me one for that, and then another one against the challenge. And let's see. So I need to be able to make an eight. So I have to roll a perfect six. Would you be willing to assist with that? Yeah. Okay. Good. So. That gives me a plus three. So now I only need to roll a three or better. Still pretty rough, but we got to deal with it eventually. Four. Perfect. I've done it. So now the horrifying discovery is gone. And now we're going to have to deal with a hungry ooze. Ah, But that mm. brings me up to four loot. So fantasy Costco where all your dreams come true. It has returned. Congratulations. And I got the Extreme Team Bible. That is yes. plus, one, plus one strength versus spooky. And if I discard it, I can say something inspiring and add plus two to anyone's die roll against spooky. Nice. Tuck that away. All right. Now it is your turn. We got right, the tail we whip. At? We got the tail whip from the dragon, the hungry ooze, and the fabulous view. Uh, I'm gonna go for the tail whip. All right, avoid the dragon's tail whip. The dragon swings its mighty tail at you, dripping with a viscous goo, and you move to try and deftly dodge away. So, you get two plus one because it's a monster and you have the pocket guide to adventuring. So you need to be able to roll a five or better. Do you want assistance? I think I can do it. You think you got that? All right. Okay, I'll ask for assistance. What's that? I'll ask for assistance. Okay. So you get plus two. So now you need a three or better. And you get five. So didn't really need assistance, but whatever. It'll reset anyways. So you avoided the dragon's tail whip, which gets you another two loot points. And now we must avoid the dragon's malevolent gaze, which good thing it's happening now because I have bonuses against spooky things and magical things. So I can try and go after that one. So... The dragon stares, uh, a terrifying stare with its deep ember eyes, and I, I stare right back, and I hold up my extreme teen Bible to say, you cannot terrify me! So I get... I'm not afraid of you. Four against magical challenges, plus one against spooky because of the extreme teen Bible. And I need to roll a five still. Whoo, okay. Hmm. I, I'm i going to use the surprise loops lessons. And I, uh, I, I, I get on the, the bracer task loop. Loop, what is your lesson? And loop's lesson, loop's lesson against the dragon is, uh, not not coming through very well. There's a lot of static. Hold on, I'm listening. Yes, Loop's lesson. Loop's lesson is, I don't know, uh, like duck. <laughs> <laughs> and that will get rid of Loop's lesson for now. We can pick another surprise in just a moment, but that gives a plus two. So I just need to roll a three. 
I think I got it. And... Two. Oof. Uh, could you... Okay, it'll only be a plus one, but that's all I need if you assist me now after the die roll. Okay. Thank you. So that brings us just past the ten. And that gets me two loot points. And we have avoided the dragon's malevolent gaze. And now, before your turn, let's pick a new surprise card. We got Merle's Blessing, Director's Guidance, and Killing It with Killian. Uh, Killing It with Killian. All right. So now, Regulator Killian is here to lend a hand and crossbow. So if we... So we get plus ones versus monsters, which is good, fighting the dragon. And uh, if we discard it, we get plus two to the die roll when facing a monster challenge. And we have to describe how Killian saves the day. All right. Okay. It's your turn now. So can you find a place to hide? Do you deal with the hungry ooze or do you enjoy the fabulous view? Um, I'm gonna enjoy the fabulous view. All right. What's so impressive about the view? Um, you know, there's not a giant oozing monster, like gooey monster, uh, dragon hanging that's, out out there. That's a pretty good so reason. So it's, it's all pretty great. Um, sun is shining. There's some pretty nice, like green rolling hills. Uh, but mostly it just looks very safe. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> um, all right, so you got uh, two against the challenge, plus one for the story point. So you just got to roll a three. Do you want assistance? I can do that. All right, here we go. Three, exactly. Ow. All right, and that... Brings you up to three loot points. You know what that means. Fantasy Costco, where all your dreams come Costco. true. Got a deal for you. Uh, all right. And you get your second Fantasy Costco card. Uh, 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 Fantasy Costco isn't holding it together. <laughs> and your shit together. You get the Living Grimoire. That is a plus one strength versus magic, and you can discard it to add plus one to anyone's die roll. Ah! No, the bottom's fallen out. <laughs> oh no! That's that's all Costco. right. Costco. Hold on. Hold on. I must I must fix my fantasy Costco. I just gotta just gotta tuck it all in. There's all sorts of hooks and tabs and. All sorts of nonsense. Click together. Thank you. And cards are back in. Okay. Fancy Costco has been revived. All right. So now you have those two. If you get another Fancy Costco card, you'll have to choose which two to keep. But for now, you get plus one to magic, plus one to trap and monster. And you can get plus ones on any die roll by discarding either of those. So now it's my turn again. You get your assist token back. And, hmm. I'm going to deal with the hungry ooze because we have Killian right now, which gets us a plus one versus monsters. So let's see dealing with the hungry ooze so the idol which is currently enveloping the dragon in its ooze um has started to hey. let the ooze leave and become its own sentient creature so i am uh I i'm i'm gonna try and shove that back dragon wise and let's see let's see what i got so i get plus one Plus another one because of Killian. And it's not spooky, so it doesn't get help me there. Hmm. This might be a bit tricky. Um. Okay, this, let's see. 
I cannot get it just from that because that's I'd have to roll an eight. Well, I could always roll the Bureau of Balance side. It's real risky. <laughs> um, and that's like a one. It's a one in twenty. But that's not zero. It's happened at least once. Hmm. Could I ask for your assistance with your plus three? Yeah, of course. Great. So that'll bring it up to five, which is still pretty, pretty tricky, but doable. So let's, let's see what I can do. Five. Oh, that was close. That was very close. All right, so I've dealt with the Hungry Ooze, and that gets me four loot points. So I get my second Fancy Costco card. Fancy Costco, please do not fall apart. There we go. I get the Dragon Scale Armor, which is plus one versus monster or magic. Which means I got like a plus five against magic already. Nice. All right. We're, we're working through it. So I should point out at this point, um, to finish the story, we need to be able to get through the villain and the relic deck. We don't necessarily need to go through the location one, but, you know, it can get you fancy Costco stuff. So it's there as an option. Okay. So that was my turn. It is your turn now. So you can find a place to hide, encounter too many tentacles, or enjoy the luxury coach. I'm uh, going to find a place to hide. Great. That is a trap one, which you have four against trap challenges. And uh, quick, behind that pillar, under that tapestry, in that treasure chest, where do you hide? Um, yeah, I... On a train. I hide behind, like, underneath a table. Under a table. Okay. So that gets you another one. So you'll need to roll a five. Oh, nope. You get another plus one because of the pocket guide to adventuring. So you have six. So you just need to roll four more. And this is a double assist, which means that I and our, uh, our silent priest who hangs out with us can give you our assists. Take an assist. Okay. Get one from the priest and one from me. And that just brings you up to ten. Which is a, you don't even have to roll. But let's do let's do it still, because there's always the chance of an epic fail. It's an, a perfect success. <laughs> they really Great. want me to hide. You you got a twenty exactly when you needed it least. Oh. oh. All right, so you got two loot points. And let's do that. So can your performance soothe the beast? Well, I'm going to do that because that's spooky and magic, which I'm very good against. Uh, let me return all of the assist tokens. All right. Can my performance soothe the beast? How do I calm the dragon down? Play an instrument, sing a song, give it a relaxing massage... Um, hmm, how indeed, well, obviously, I'm going to read it a few passages in the, the nicest voice I can from my extreme teen Bible, and I, I will let him know that it's exhilarating, but can also be almost a lullaby in, in the right context. So, I guess right. one, plus one. Plus four to the magic. Plus another one because of my dragon scale armor. And plus one because it's spooky. So I start out with a six and I only need to do four. Hmm. Or wait, six. No, that's not right. I start out with four. Get one for the story point. One for each of my items. So I'm at a seven. Uh, I can do it with a three. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a problem. Let's do it. Three, exactly. Man, we've been getting very lucky rolls. 
Yes, All right. That is to loot for me. And then can you survive the huge spout of flame? Uh, my turn? Yeah. What are we looking at? So can you survive the, the huge spout of flame? Uh, while encountering too many tentacles, which is 14 right now because of this plus two, while enjoying the luxury coach. All right, I'm going to try to uh, survive the huge spot of flame. Seems like All maybe right. a good one. The dragon drops down next to you, only a few feet away. He is not impressed by my extreme teen bibling. And a, a deep roar begins in his throat. And you can see the the red light start to grow down in his throat as the flames come up. And he's going to fire straight at you. So let's see. Do, 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 do. You have a four against traps. Plus one against magic. Plus another one against traps. So that gives you a six. Hmm. And anything else? Uh, we could assist you, but you only need a four, so do you want assistance? No. I get All a right. little singed. I get a little singed. Here we go. Need to see that four? That's a two. Well, uh... But... The priest can give you a plus two after the die roll. So that will bring you up just enough to survive. Thank goodness. That, that one is three loot all by itself, so that means you can go to Fantasy Costco. Fantasy Costco. And, all right, let's see what we got. It's the Flaming Raging Poisoning Sword of Doom. So, uh... Yes, it is. When you engage a monster, you may discard this to defeat the monster without rolling the die. Uh, so, you can either keep that and discard one of the ones you already have, or you can discard this, because you can only keep two. So the three you got are that one, the Pocket Guide to Adventuring, which gives you a plus one versus traps and monsters, and the Living Grimoire, which gives you a plus one versus magic. I have to discard one? You can only keep two, yeah. I want the flaming raging sword. You're gonna get rid of that? Sword. Oh, I wanna keep that. And you I wanna, wanna keep, keep the Uh what do the other ones do? Uh Pocket Guide to Adventuring is plus one versus traps and monsters. And Living mm -hmm. Grimoire is plus one versus magic. And I like, get rid of the like, Grimoire. Okay. Goodbye, Grimoire. So now you have the Pocket Guide to Adventuring and the Flaming Raging Poisoning Sword of Doom. Doom. Goodbye, Fantasy Costco, for now. All right. So we are back to the top. Hmm, dodge the dragon's deadly chomp. Counter too many tentacles. I'm going to deal with the tentacles before... Hmm, or do I? Well, I mean, you could deal with the tentacles with the p raging, flaming, poisoning sword of doom. Hmm. Ah... I don't want to do the luxury coach because it adds one to every trap uh, challenge after that. Hmm. Mm. So I'm going to go with... Or no, I think that has it... Oh, no, no, I have to get rid of that so it doesn't have that. So yeah, actually, I am going to do the luxury coach. All right. So yeah, I, I run onto the train, which has come to a stop. And as the dragon is destroying the platform, I'm going to run into the luxury coach. Uh, and j just start looting. Just start looting all the, 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 the mini bar, 
all the various concessions. Nobody's watching, so now's the time to do it. So, here we go. I get one against that, and then uh, nothing against traps, so that doesn't help. It's not a monster, so Killian doesn't help. So I gotta get a perfect six. Hmm. Would you be willing to help? Got your back. All right. That's plus three. So I only need to get a three. We haven't taken any damage yet. We're pretty far into the dragon deck. Uh, still got a lot of the relic to go, but that's not too bad. Here we go. One. Oof. All right. Oh, so, no. Yeah. And I already got the assist, so unfortunately, I'm going to take the damage, which takes us down from 14 to, t or no, 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 it's only one damage, so it takes us from 14 to 13. Oof. Oh, no. That's rough. All right, it is your turn. We got the deadly chomp, I'll take on too many tentacles, and the luxury coach. Tentacles. I'll take the on the tentacles. tentacles. All right, what's your plan for dealing with this truly ridiculous number of tentacles? Well, obviously I'm going to use the flaming raging sword. The flaming po I don't ra the flaming raging poisoning sword of the hash slinging slash bringing tasher. Okay. So <laughs> if we, you use that, you don't even need to roll. And you take out the tentacles. Goodbye, tentacles. You thought you had me. I also did some pretty cool, like, flips and, uh, like, back handsprings and nice. really unnecessary, like. Killian gives you a thumbs after. up. Killian, yeah. Killian gives you a respectful nod. Nod back. All right, and that gets you two more loot, which means... Fantasy Costco, we're going to you again. And Faithful Hound. Plus one strength versus monsters. And if you trash it and describe how your dog helps out, you add plus one to anyone's die roll. Nice. And because you just got rid of the sword, you don't need to discard anything. Perfect. All right, things are going pretty well so far. Uh, this is where it's going to start getting tricky, I feel. All right. Uh, I am going to go after the luxury coach again. So I am continuing to loot through the luxury coach while you, you deal with all of the tentacles and such outside. This this is what I'm after. So I get a one plus nothing, I think, right? Yeah, I don't have any plus to traps. Ugh, that's going to be rough, but all right. So, um, hmm. Would you assist again? Assist in my looting? Got you. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. Only need to roll a three. Two. No. <laughs> I failed again. That's one more damage. All right, your turn. So, you can continue to help me loot the luxury coach. You can uh, face bizarre living artwork. Or you can dodge the dragon's deadly chomp. Uh, one more time. The artwork. The first one? It is, uh, you face bizarre living artwork. And uh, the luxury coach, continue helping me loot through that. Um, I'm gonna face Bizarre Living Artwork. They got, I mean, okay, yeah. I mean, they got pretzels in this coach. I'm not talking, like, bags of pretzels. I'm talking the full carnival-style pretzels. I'm trying to get to the coach, and this, I get distracted. All right, this unnatural work okay. of art wants to consume you. What does it look like? Um, it is a statue of a dragon um, statue of with a dragon tentacles. with ten so it's a statue of the dragon that you're currently facing or a different dragon uh I, it looks very similar to the dragon that i'm facing but it is not that dragon 
It's not the same drop. Okay. All right. So that's a 12. Let's see. So you get two plus one from Killian because it's a monster. One from your dog and from your pocket guide. And yeah, that's so that's five. And you need to roll a seven. I don't think that's going to work out. So it's a double assist. We're going to we're going to assist you. Defense. Yeah. So that gives you another four. And you still got to roll a three. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Here we go. Two. Are you mm. kidding me? I had the thought. I was like, I'm going to roll a two. And then, of course, I did. Um, right. Hmm. Is there anything I can do to help out at that point? Uh, I mean... You can use either of your loot cards by uh, describing how they help out, um, but then you have to discard them, and that would give you the one more you need. Okay, I have the... You have the Pocket Guide to Adventuring and the Faithful Hound, so you gotta say, you know, what advice you found in the Pocket Guide or how the dog helps out, but you're gonna lose whichever one you use. Um, the, oh, this is going to be devastating. The dog sees that I'm in distress, runs out in front of me, and attacks the piece of art, like, just chomps right down on its neck. And yeah. I run away. And that's just enough to change the visage and remind you that it, it is just a painting. And get it um, out of there. So, you take out the living artwork. And that's another three loot gems, Fantasy Costco. This is another time. All right, Steven the Goldfish, which gives you a yeah. plus one versus traps. The flavor text says, it's possible Steven is a rogue. Nice. Uh, and and also... When making a challenge, you can spend your action token to assist yourself. So now you'll have to make some hard decisions about uh, when you use your assist token. All right. Oh, yeah. All the tokens go back. All right. So dodge the dragon's deadly chomp. Read the Book of Secrets. Or enjoy the luxury. Co I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish up this luxury coast coach if it kills me. So it's gonna be a uh, a one against the coach, plus not much. <laughs> uh, could I ask for your assistance? Yes, of course. Okay. So that brings it up to four. I just need to roll a three. I swear I can do this. You got it, you got it, you got it. No, epic fail. <laughs> no. Our rolls in the beginning were so good. Now I know, we used up all our good rolls. Oh, well. Now it's your turn. If you can't dance, if you can't dance. All right, what are we looking at? We have Dodge the Deadly Chomp, Read the Book of Secrets, or Enjoy the Luxury Coach. I'd appreciate it if you did the Luxury Coach, because you have a lot against traps, and I cannot get it, apparently. I'll, I'll take that Luxury Coach. I'm all gonna right. run in. What's so, taking so long? And pick up all the loot. Thank it's you. Luxury. Yeah, I've been fumbling, dropping things left and right, desperately trying to do stuff, and you just run in with a bag and scoop it all in. I lost my dog! <laughs> Come all on! Alright, so you, get, you start with a four against traps, plus one for Steven, plus one for the pocket guide, so all you need to roll is a one. Alright. So as long as this isn't an epic fail, you will succeed. It's a five. Uh, don't say it. Nice, nice. Finally, so that means that other traps will no longer have the plus one difficulty. And that's another three gems. Fantasy Costco, you get a ton of stuff. 
All right, and you get mm -hmm. the glutton's fork. So you may expend your action token at the end of your turn to restore a health. Nice. But, unfortunately, that means you have three, and you got to pick one. So you got the glutton's fork, Steven, or the pocket guide. I'm going to get rid of the pocket guide. All right. Goodbye, pocket guide. You were quite useful. Hanging on to it for so long. So now you have Steven, which gives you a plus one versus traps. And you can assist yourself with your assist token. And, or at uh, the end of your turn, you can use your assist token to restore one health. Which right now we're at 11. So not too bad, but good to know it's there. So now everybody gets their stuff back. And... Uh, we are crossing a long bridge, so I think it's okay for us to cross that bridge for a little bit. Excuse me. And I'm going to... I'm going to read the Book of Secrets. What maddening secret do I learn? Uh, well, honestly, it's, it's the pricing guide for that newsstand out front, and it, it was even worse than I thought. There were items they were sold out of. So the prices are out of control. I, I can't even begin to describe just how, just how horribly they're they're just scamming people, for for simple simple things. There's there's a Dean Koontz novel there for seventy dollars. Well, it must be it could be a collector's item here. Let's be real. That's true. It's yeah. It's so the real Dean Koontz. Dean it's not. Novel. It's not a fantasy Dean Koontz or anything. They had to import it from the human world. Magic. So that gives, that gives me a plus one. And I get four against a magic challenge. Plus one because of my dragon scale armor. Um, And that's all I got. Six versus ten. You know, that's not too bad. I think I can I can handle that. Um I'm also going to take the priest assist to bring me up to 8, so I just got to get 2. Uh ah, 3. All right, I'm glad I got that assist. All right, so that's the book of secrets, National Treasure 2. And so that brings me up to four gems. Fantasy Costco. I gotta grab the thing. Here it is. All right, the Cloak of Invisibility. When you fail a challenge, the damage is reduced by one. Uh, honestly, we haven't been taking that much damage, so I'm just not. I'm just gonna leave that one. Garfield can. Garfield can keep that. I don't need it. All right, now it is your turn. So, you can dodge the deadly chomp, uh, process a shocking revelation, and uh, we're crossing a long bridge. I'm going to process a dry... Uh, actually, no, I'm going to dodge the deadly chomp. All right. The dragon, who so far has been just kind of dripping goo and watching you as you run back and forth to the luxury coach before finally giving up and just helping me out... <laughs> um, lunges towards you, its powerful jaw snapping at, at a, a much Excuse greater rate me. than you'd expect. Uh, it's, 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 it moves much faster than you would expect something of its size to do, so you, you only have a moment. You start out Which with four because it's a trap, by. plus one because of Killian, plus one because of Steven, so that is six. And you just need to roll a four. And you can assist yourself with Steven. I'm going to assist myself. All right, that gives you a plus three. And so you just got to roll a one. As long as you don't get the epic fail. I, I yell, excuse me, and try to jump out of the way. And what you happened? dodge nimbly away. And that gets you two <laughs> gems. And now the dragon has a big gun. <laughs> yeah. Where'd that come from? Why does the dragon have a gun? Who gave them a gun? 
How is that in any way a good idea? Conductor oh boy. came in and, and had a gun and dropped it. Gosh, so the dragon has 11. Hmm. So, uh, yikes. Uh, honestly, I will do the shocking revelation because it's spooky, which I am uh, pretty good against. So, let's let's uh, process a shocking revelation. The secret that threatens to drive me insane. I I I went to the back of that book, the 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 uh, pricing sheet, and uh, I found out that the pricing sheet itself costs thirty dollars. So you just have to pay 30 to know what? how much stuff costs. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. People like, have never run a business before. All I'm saying is I'm I'm going to burn down this newsstand and say the dragon did it. So I get two I get 1 plus 1 and uh, I am going to say something inspiring from the Extreme Teen Bible and add to a spooky roll. So, Ooh. as as it says in the Extreme Teen Bible, in uh, Brad Zillicus, uh, fourteen eleven, let he who is not a dragon throw the first stone, and thus. I have a four. I just gotta get a five, which is pretty rough, but I think I can do it, and I can't do an assist. Whew. Um, oh, wait a minute. I also get another one because I did the story bit, so that's, I gotta get a four. That's not as bad. Here we go. Five. Just barely survived that one. All right. Now. Is your turn. The dragon has a big gun, and you're facing your deadly reflection while crossing a long bridge. I feel like I should deal with the... Um, I'm gonna... Uh, deadly reflection. Oh, right. a big gun. Okay, gun. big gun. So, yeah, the dragon who had been snapping at you and was gonna... Hits you with fire, just twists around and pulls out a full on, just a, a big old bazooka and just slaps it on its shoulder and aims right at you. So you better dodge out of the way real quick. So you oh, get, God. You get two plus one because of Killian. Um, yeah. So that brings you up to three. And you got to roll a seven, which is impossible. So I am going to assist you with my plus two. That's a five. So hopefully you can roll a five. If you can roll at least a three, we can discard Killian and she'll save the day. So let's, okay, let's I hope got it this. doesn't come I got to that. Uh, here we go. Four. We're gonna Killian jumps in at the last moment and and just scissor kicks and knocks the bazooka off range. It, it goes off and it hits the newsstand. The newsstand is exploded. You're just gonna stand there and watch the whole time. You were just gonna stand there and watch. Listen, I'm just listen. <laughs> so Killian then has to uh, run away because it's kind of her fault that the property was destroyed so uh she is unfortunately not going to be with us for the rest of this but she was able to kick the bazooka so hard that it bent the barrel and is now useless to this dragon thank you and that gets you three gems fantasy costco it is time for stuff you get the all or nothing coin you may discard this card before you roll the die if the result is even, you get a critical hit. If not, it's an epic fail. No other effects can modify this die roll. So it basically just turns the die into a coin. A D2, as they say. And it's a discard thing. So do you want to keep that? Do you want to keep Steven? And the Glens Fork. 
I'm going to keep Steven in the fork. Okay. Let's toss that coin away then. Then we get to pick another surprise. Merle's Blessing or the Director's Guidance? Uh, Director's Guidance. All right, Very and that well. gives us a plus one strength to all challenges. As Madam Director provides us with vital information, we may also, before engaging a challenge, flip any or all of the top challenge cards because they are double-sided. So some of them will be easier. Uh, but we cannot flip the finale, which we're pretty close to the dragon's finale. And if we do defeat that, then we just got to go through the rest of the relic. So, we're resetting back to the beginning of the turns. Ah, what do I got to do here? So, uh, I can be fighting a second smaller dragon while facing my deadly reflection and crossing a long bridge. Gosh, ah, uh, which of these am I decent against? Oh, deadly reflection. I have pretty good against magic, so that is a 10 because of the second smaller dragon. So, my evil reflection, as I look deep into the mirror, I, I look closer and realize they're not wearing any kind of cheese robe. They are, in fact, wearing a hat and a polo shirt with the logo of the newsstand. That's right. It was alternate um, mirror me who ran the newsstand the entire no. time. So that gets me a plus one. <laughs> then four because it's magic. Another one because of my dragon scale armor. Plus another because of the director. So I get seven. So I just got to roll two to take this out. Six. Or wait, nice. six? I think, yeah, okay, the dot is on the top of it. There's no nine on it. Um, okay. So that does it. And the deadly reflection is vanquished. I say, you aren't me! And I destroy the mirror. Crush it. Damn you and your pricing. All right, and that gives me four gems, which means I can go to Fantasy Costco, where... Everything is stuff. All right, and it's the knit picker. So that's plus one to traps, which is great because I'm terrible with traps. And you can spend my action. I can spend my action token at any time to add plus two to any challenge. Uh, tra trap challenge. That's the one. There we go. Tuck that away. All right, now it is your turn. You are fighting a second smaller dragon while passing through a dimension door and crossing a long bridge. Because of the dimension door, when you defeat the challenge, we flip the top location card as the world around us changes. So the bridge will flip over to a different thing, which we'll find out after we defeat that. I feel like I should fight the smaller dragon. All right, you're fighting a second just... smaller dragon. Somehow, I just can't stop fighting the dragons. Yes. Just keep this, coming for me. As, as the dragon is lamenting the loss of his bazooka, a tiny baby dragon flies up from under his gooey wing, and it's, it's just so adorable. Oh my god, adorable. it's so cute! It's, got, it's, it's a short, chubby little dragon. Like, a dragon's a lizard, so they don't have puppies, but that's the best way to describe this. This is a dragon puppy. I don't want to fight you. Unfortunately, Hello. before you Hello. even realize it, it's flying between you and its parent to protect the parent from you. That's two plus one. Kid. Then I could oh. be friends. Ah, <sighs> That would be the dream. All right. So that is three that you're starting out with. Um, You can assist yourself. So, I would recommend you assist yourself because it's a, a 12. Okay, I'll assist myself. All right, assist yourself for another three. And then I will also assist you because it's a double assist for another two. So that brings it up to just four you got to do. That's not too bad. Mm. Um... 
Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. So let's see if we can do it. The second smaller dragon looks at you with its big puppy eyes. As you swing, you can't stop. It's too late. You can't stop. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't want to do this. And you just barely miss. And the dragon looks at you with its <sighs> adorable eyes before quickly morphing into a furious expression, realizing what you were doing and attacking you for four damage. Oh my gosh. So we're down to seven. All right, everybody gets, me, their, dragon. gets their tokens back. Oh boy. So I am going to go after the dimension door since it's magic. And, uh, yeah, I, after breaking the mirror, I realize it was not just a mirror, but a doorway into another alternate dimension. And I, I decide to, to take a step through my mind warping as I, I travel through. Can I, can I sustain my psyche? Can I hold it together in the dimension of, of the highest prices? So that's four, plus one, plus another one, uh, plus another one. I don't even need to roll. Well, I do need to roll because it could still be a fail, but that's seven. Just on the bonuses. Come on, don't be an epic fail. Two. That's fine. I rip through the dimension nice. door, and I find myself passing through a dark tunnel. Oh. So, now all of their challenges have plus one difficulty. It's really dark. Mm. So now it's your turn. So, we're passing through a dark tunnel. You're fighting a second smaller dragon, which just bit you real good. And you're dealing with just enough tentacles. Oh, man. I'm going to keep fighting this little dragon. All right, this the little dragon. dragon of mine... The I'm dragon is gonna... still pretty adorable, chubby little guy, but he's very angry and starting to look a little less cute. So, here we go. You get two. Um, no plus ones there. Three because of the director. And, unfortunately, I can't help you with that because the nitpicker is only for traps. But... We can do assists, so you can use your own coin to give yourself plus three. I'm doing it. And I will give you some as well, so that brings us up to eight. So it's 13 because of the dark tunnel. So you need to roll a five. Let's see. Let's see if we can do Come it. One. We can do it. One. Oh, no. Ouch. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, the dragon whips around, hitting you with its incredibly spiky tail. It's kind of, it's like those cactuses. Like, you look at the cactuses with the big spines, and you're like, that looks like it hurt. But then there's the little fuzzy ones, and you're like, oh, that looks so nice and soft. But if you touch it, it'd be so much worse, because there's like a million tiny little needles. This is like the million tiny little needles version of a spiky dragon tail. Ow. And that brings us down to three. Ooh, we're very close to dead. And you already spent your action token, so we can't heal up with that, but that's okay for now. Uh, let's see. Should I help with the dragon? Um, yes. I, I, well, I'm gonna help with the tunnel so that we can at least bring the dragon down by one. So we're passing through a dark tunnel. That's my fault. I'm going to try and move us. going to run up to the front and try and hit the track changer to g take a turn and go out of the tunnel a little quicker. So I get plus one, plus one because of the director. And that's it for that. But, um, but it's only a six damage. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm going to take the action token from the priest to get at least four. So now I just got to roll a two or higher, which isn't too bad. Come on. Come on. Four. There we go. 
I hit that track changer, and within seconds, we are out of the dark tunnel. It's quite bright again, and now, uh, as I'm running back, I'm passing through the cargo car. So all of their trap challenges have plus one difficulty, but there's some valuable stuff in here, if you're a thief. <laughs> so, now you are fighting a second smaller dragon, while dealing with just enough tentacles and passing through the cargo car. So, do you continue fighting that dragon? I'm passing the cargo car. Uh, passing through the cargo car. All right. So, you're running through the cargo car trying to get away from that dragon, trying to pick all yeah, the tiny, like done tiny little this. spikes out of your stuff. Ow, ow, ow. All right, so that gives you a four. Tiptoe running. Because it's a trap, plus one because you have Steven. And... I think you'll be all right with that. That's five. Um, yeah, that's five, and you only need to roll two. Okay. So let's let's get it. One. I'll assist you with my token. Thank you. Which gets you just the one Thank you need. You. So you grab some stuff, and you don't get too stuck up in the cargo car, and you're able to pull all the, the rest of the spikes out easily. And that gets you three gems. Fantasy Costco. This is a pretty long song. Yeah. All right. The Fanny Pack of Holding, which is plus one strength versus traps. And there's no limit to the number of Costco cards you can carry and use. So um, you don't even need to discard one. Nice. When I have one, that will give us back a point of health. That's right. You have use it the... At the end. The Glutton's Fork, so you can use your action token uh, that you still have. And we go back up to four. Nice. All right. Now everybody gets their action tokens back. I eat one of the spikes. Nom, 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 nom. All right. We're getting pretty down there. So fighting a second smaller dragon, dealing with just enough tentacles, dealing with a bumpy ride. Gosh, can I do anything about the dragon? Well, let's see. With your guys' assistance, that'd give me five. Plus the director, that's six. Plus one against monsters. So that'd be seven. Plus my one, eight. I think I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, if I can get your guys' assistance. So one plus one for the director. Plus two from the priest, plus two from you, or plus three from you? Yes. Plus one. Wait, hold on. One, director, plus two, plus three, plus another one. Because of the dragon scale armor. So that brings me up to eight. Just gotta roll a four. I think I can Come do on. it, so I'm going to run out and be like, that's my friend! And I'm going to load up a spell to blast this dragon onto the tracks. Five! I zap the dragon, and he goes rolling in a tumbling in adorable, puppy-like fashion straight onto the tracks. Nice! And, uh, nice. And I cut away, but... Um, I, they cut away, but you know that, that, that dragon didn't, did not survive that going under the tracks. Mm. Just let me double check that I got the finales correct. And now we're facing the dragon themselves, which thankfully is a trap one, which you're very good against. Yes. So... It's pretty close. If you if you lose on this, that's us dead, but I trust you. Um oh yeah, and I get to go to Fantasy Costco, the place that has a thing. It has the slippies of haste. That's plus one versus a trapper monster. When you fail to defeat a challenge, you can spend your action token to reduce the damage by one. In this case, I will definitely do that. And I will replace the mm, well. I'll hang on to the nitpicker for now. 
and get rid of the dragon scale armor because they both have monster. So I can just use the monster from the Slippies of Haste. And I don't need the magic one as much because that's my specialty. And I can assist you um, with the nitpicker for later. All right. Wait. So your turn. You're facing the dragon, dealing with just enough tentacles, and dealing with a bumpy ride. This train is not going so smooth. I'm going to face that dragon. All right. Facing the dragon. It's a trap, so that's four. Plus one for Steven, plus one for the fame pack of holding. That's six, plus one because of the director, which brings us up to seven. The dragon has 13, which means we need six more. So I, for certain, am going to assist. Me out here, buddy. Two, so that's up to nine. So you only need to get a four. This is it. This could be the last roll. Okay, Here we okay. go. Come on. One. No. The dragon. Die. The dragon just turns to both of us, whipping out its goo tentacles, and throws us both under the tracks as well, and we are we are crushed. To death. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Ah, uh, we were so close. We only needed a couple more for the relic as well. Ah, uh, no. that's... Uh, and then let's see if there's anything special tried. for death. A gruesome way to go. Yes. Well, okay. Um. So, yeah, we we don't... We do get thrown under the tracks, but thankfully we are able to slip and slide just carefully enough between the wheels to to survive and slip away before the dragon realizes that we did, in fact, survive. We return to the moon base, defeated and in shame. The director shakes shakes her head in a way that just, oh, it makes you feel bad. You know she's not mad. She's just disappointed. I had to fight so many dragons. So many dragons. And one of those dragons had a gun. It was a huge gun. Killian had to big come in. Gun? Oh, we did pretty good. I, I I gotta say, we we got a little riskier towards the end, but we got real close. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. I like I like it. It's it's basically like D D with prompts and like um, so I still am base. I basically got to DM, but I it was more filling in the the details than it was necessarily having to come up with all the scenarios and encounters. Yeah, I like that. Um, I feel like if, now that I've played it once in the future, I would uh, play more like character directed. Oh, totally. At the end, I was feeling more like I wanted well... to. Since since we have gone through an adventure now, let's let's update, put some notes based on this adventure in our, our character sheet. So you have faced a big old dragon with big gooey dragon. A, oh, big old gooey dragon with a big old gun. And a puppy dragon. And, and pup? A puppy okay. dragon. A puppy style dragon. And I. Uh, oh, hold on. Make sure that's clear. And then I faced. My greedy scam, scam licious self from 
another dimension. So we we will remember that for next time. I'm likely. I stole that. That was me. And we can hang on to our fantasy Costco stuff as well for next time. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Tuck that there. Tuck these here. So this can be a bit more of a campaign sort of thing. So awesome, yeah. I will tuck that away into the game board, and this would this was definitely fun, even as a failure. A lot of rolling. Oh yeah, I mean it's nice to fail sometimes. At least we didn't actually die. Yeah, exactly. Did kill that tiny that little dragon though. Yeah, I'm not sure what these Bureau of Balance tokens are for. They they I have like a few of them here. Let me see. I can figure out what that's all about. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably specific cards that say something about it, but whatever. Weird. Yeah. I don't know. Fantasy Costco. It can sit right there. Well, thanks for playing with me. Yeah, thanks for hosting. That was uh, real fun. Yeah. It's a real, real good time for the stream. I think we didn't really get any viewers, but that's that's part of the course for a lot of streams. Now that it's like summertime and people are getting vaccinated, they're not exactly watching Twitch. Yeah, should be. Go back inside. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. I know. Yeah, that's uh, that's the big thing is like how many people are mm -hmm. actually vaccinated, not wearing their masks, and how many people are just, like, still being anti-maskers and all that nonsense. Yep. Shaking my then, head. Even people should be wearing masks at this point, if you look I at know. the... I wear a I go to the gym and do, like, a hardcore weight training wearing a mask. Like, it's not that bad, people. Come on. I wear a mask. I hate it. I do hate it, and I'll be honest about that. But I still wear it. <laughs> Not I don't mind take it, it off. that much. I mean, it's also when I was uh, for most of the pandemic before I was vaccinated, I was wearing like a full on like dust mask, like you do lawn work in. Um, mm -hmm. And once I got vaccinated, I just kind of like went down to a standard cloth mask, and they're so much easier to breathe in. Like it, it barely feels like anything. Uh, uh, it just, it really bothers me, honestly, but, uh, I think it's also, like, I've been wearing one eight hours a day for months and months and months and months. Yeah, and you got, you got a day job. I pretty much only wear it when I have lot. to, like, go to the gym or to the grocery store or something, but I, I definitely understand in, like, a, a hot kitchen making, making ice cream and baked goods and such. Not a good time. Not a good time. Not a good time. But you gotta do it, everybody. Please, please wear your masks. This will be over. This will be over eventually. But like, the more you wear the, your mask, the faster it'll be over. Yeah, seriously, wear a mask. That's definitely me saying, do it even if you hate it. <laughs> do it even if it's terrible. Cause yep, yep, yep. It's more terrible. This fucking this pandemic thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to do my stream outro and probably read over in a minute. So if you want to stay on the call, okay. I'll just uh, mute you real quick and do that. Well, One sec. All right. Um, hold on. Uh, Got to mute on Discord. There we go. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, 
I, I noticed that there's lag on the camera, which that's mainly because I'm also doing Discord with the video, which is unfortunate, but that's that's just how things go. So apologies for that, but thanks for watching, whether it's now or later on Iggy Kid Twitch Archive or in the past broadcast tab. Please consider following and subscribing. You get a free subscription with Twitch Prime, which you get Twitch Prime free with Amazon Prime. So just link your accounts and, you know, consider giving me that sub. I'd appreciate it. One free one a month. So why not use it? Um, follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid. Follow me on YouTube, Iggy and the Ape, and also Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, where I post all my old streams. Uh, and yeah, I, I hope you'll join me. Next time, tomorrow I'll be playing probably some Link's Awakening, if I'm feeling up to it. Sundays are like kind of an optional stream, so I don't always do them. But thank you very much for inviting me to your home, your computer, your tablet, your laptop, your gaming console, Roku, Apple TV, however it is you watch tonight. I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope you'll join me for my next stream. And hey, if nobody else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right, let's see who we can raid over to. One moment, I'm going to go to the AFK screen. And and let's see uh, who is online right now. Who is streaming? It's a Saturday, so probably a few people. Let's see, let's see. Streaming, streaming. It, Pinksel is streaming, so I will I will send you guys over to Pinksel. One One moment. Do, 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 do. Go to the stream manager. And then we go to slash raid Pinksel. All right. Let Pinksel know I sent you. Have a great time over there. Have a great rest of your weekend, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.